Sup, this is Alex Chu. Uh, today I just want to talk about uh, if you are a small merchant, you know, should you get a credit card uh, merchant account? That's all. That's just a very simple and light subject for today. You know, should you just get a credit card merchant account if you're a small online merchant, you know? But anyway, uh, I want to, before I tell you that, I want to tell you my name is Alex Chu. I'm the guy who invented the physical immortality rings. These are rings that you put on your small fingers during sleep, okay? You wear them, you don't age anymore. You become, in, you become immortal, you know? I'm already, uh, I'm almost 40, 48. I look pretty good, right? If you go to my website, you, um, I, I have a link that shows you lots of Amazon customers' reviews, you know? Most of them give me eight star, uh, four stars or five stars. Anyway, if you want to, Live forever. You want to stay physically young for forever. You go to livemuchlonger.com. Livemuchlonger.com to get one of these uh, pl uh, rings. Okay, these are magnetic rings. Anyway, let's talk about you know if you are selling stuff online. You know, should you get a merchant account, like a credit card merchant account? I have first data for like more than ten years. You know, uh, when I started selling these rings. Uh, you know, online, uh, starting was well, 1997 or something. Uh, for I had credit card account for a long time. You could say that, yeah, yeah. I was, I would say 20 years. I had it for 20 years. I canceled it. I canceled merchant account just like last year. And to be honest, no, I don't think it's worth it. Honestly speaking, if you sell stuff online, no, just go get yourself a PayPal account. You know. PayPal accounts, because you know the, these merchant accounts, they're getting so expensive nowadays. You know, a merchant account it depends on what you sell. If you sell risky items, you know, for for example, if you sell adult toys, or if you sell like uh, medical devices, medical equipment, like me, I sell medical equipment. You understand? It gets risky, and w once it gets risky, the the credit card company they want like almost ten percent plus a lot of fees, processing fees and all that. It's like if I if my business was slow, for example, uh, in 2016, one time, you know, one point my business was so slow that we only have like $700 gross the entire month, right? And then guess what? How, how, much, uh, how much money the credit card account take away, take away from me? They took like 200 some dollars from me, you know? You talk in 700 some dollar gross, and then they take away 200 some dollar at fee. 200 some dollar fee. I was $700 gross. That's like what? That's more than one fourth of my income. You understand? I mean, one fourth of my, my gross profit. You understand? That's a lot of money. And, and uh, at that point, I'm like, fuck this. You know, I canceled it. Once I canceled it, I, start to, I started to restructure my business, and right now my business is going up. You know, it's. But anyway, that's that's my that's my my business. <clears throat> but uh, what I'm saying is that uh, credit card companies, if you're just selling shit online, right? It's not worth it. You know, it's not worth having a credit card comp uh, merchant account because w what I deal with is it's, it's they all, they always add on add like hidden fees you know always hidden fees they they're not honest you know credit card company merchant accounts are not honest you know and sometimes they they add like strange fees for example like they would they would try to contact you like they said uh this this certain like your website is not security it's not secure or something. Your your website is not secure, and this and that. There's therefore, we have to charge you more credit card fees. We have to charge you more fees and all. And then I try to okay. Uh, how am I supposed to make it secure? Now I have to contact a certain company to make my website secure. Okay, they pass. You know, they they look at your website. They okay, they scan it with their computer and all that. And then the, the man told me, yeah, okay, now your website is uh, eligible, you know, to make it, you're eligible, uh, approved to be secure. I'm like, okay, good. And then uh, he said, okay, now all you have to do is pay 250 some dollar annual fee to us every year, you know, and that's it. Then you're approved. I'm like, fuck you. I, I hang on the phone. I'm like, this is, 
fucking nuts, man. These credit card company, they, I'm serious. They always use like gimmick. They always use tactic to make you pay more money. You know, at the end, it's like this is like some kind of security company that worked for the credit card merchant account. You know, I you know I have no idea what this shit is, but all I know is this is some kind of gimmick. You know, to get more money out of you. At the end, I just canceled it. Fuck, fuck this, man. I cancel my merchant account. Uh, I, I've been with PayPal ever since. Based on what I know, if you're honest, if you if you honest if you're honest about what you sell, you know, if customer has a problem, customer send you s your stuff back for a refund, just give them a refund. You know, just listen, just give them a refund. You know, to just do do what you promised. Okay, customers sh send shit back for a refund, you give them a refund, and then you have no problem with you will have absolutely no problem with PayPal. You understand? And PayPal is actually PayPal is actually very simple. It's just four percent. Whatever you sell, right? The the they take four percent from from your proceeds, and that's it. The re the rest of the money is yours to keep. But if you get your own merchant account, oh, it it becomes very very confusing. Every every month you receive a statement. They charge you like the credit card fee could be anywhere from two percent to five percent or whatever. And then on top of that, there's annual monthly credit card uh, merchant fee you know me I always pay around like fifty some dollars you know fifty some dollar merchant fee and then plus I have all the individual credit card fees some of them I, I don't know how to count it honestly speaking I have no idea how they count their fees and I have no idea if they rip me off or not you understand so but all I know is one time just like what I told you Seven hundred dollar gross. They took away like two hundred some dollar as credit card fee. You know, see, Pay Pay PayPal would never do that. PayPal is just four percent. If if the gross is seven hundred some dollars, they take away four percent, right? It's very simple, you know. So, it, by the way, it's like if you're selling on eBay, PayPal is huge. You know, I mean, PayPal is necessary on eBay. You know, so and every major, I don't know, uh, every major, uh, what do you call those? Uh, for example, like Shopify or whatever, you know, they all they all accept uh, PayPal. You know, they all accept PayPal. So, I I think I don't know. I I don't think merchant account is is worth it. You know, if you sell only if you sell stuff online. See, if you have a store somewhere, if you have a physical store, you sell clothing, or if you if you sell if you're a bakery, you sell food or whatever. Then yeah, maybe you need a merchant account. You understand? But if you're just selling shit online, no merchant account is no. It's a ripoff. It's it's not worth it. You know. Anyway, that's all I want to say for today. Hope you guys like my channel. If you like, please uh, subscribe. Thank you.